see. Come on, you gotta be in here somewhere. <gasps> Whoa, Sumo, look! You found him? No, something better. Rolls Quarters! There must be a million dollars in here. Or even less. <laughs> we can do anything with this. Think about it. Buy some horns. Or buy a pinata. Or get you a new outfit. Or, or do a dollar hunt. Or buy some horns. Yeah. Or... Once more around the block, please. Sorry, that's all 10 bucks will get you. What now? Wait a minute. Think about it, Sumo. All the great stuff today. The free chips, the free money, the horse and buggy ride. It was all because of from chasing that lizard. He led us to good fortune. Like a uh, genie? Exactly. So that means we should... Catch him, put him in a lamp, and rub it? Yeah. <laughs> Belson, I know you can hear me in there, and I mean it. Give me a turn or I'm walking out this door right now. Last chance, Belson. There is no one crossing this line. Fine. Have a nice game. <sighs> okay, I was bluffing. Let's start over. It's okay, lizard. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to catch you and put you in a lamp. So you'll give us wishes! I got him! Here I come with the lamp! <laughs> Here I come with the lizard! <laughs> no! I, I can't do it, Sumo. Lizards belong on the street, not in a lamp. We can't let him go. We won't get our wishes. This is my wish, Sumo. Mine too. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't put that lizard in a lamp. Me too. We should probably get off this roof anyway. I'm really trying here, Belson. I don't know what else you want from me. I trimmed your nails, I alphabetized your wardrobe, I sanitized your toilets. Well, I would have done that anyway. But I need this. You have to let me play. You have to. Please. Please let me play. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pop this out and put this in and slide this guy off. And give me a turn. It's all mine! <laughs> That gazebo's a little small. Oh, ah! No! Jeff, Jeff, look, we got a new lizard. We named him Jeff because we missed you. We had the best day. He led us to the tips, and then we got quarters, and then I bought a little parachute for him. We're gonna take him base jumping up my roof. We also got some pictures taken, you wanna see? Oh, well, I had a really great day, too. Belson and I just hung out all day. Check it out. We took a bunch of selfies, me and Belson playing the Cerebrus Breach. It was, it was a lot of fun. I'm on turn! I call after Sumo. Well, actually, I really gotta beat this part first. Okay, let's put a nice 10-foot house right over here, right next to the fire hydrant with its little dog house. Okay, perfect gazebo. Okay, let's make a town <gasps> hall. Oh, I am just having so much fun. All right, you have fun. We're gonna wait right here. Let's leave. I could just play this all day. Wow, oh boy. Okay, everyone, let's quiet down. Okay, quiet, please. Okay, I'm sure you're all waiting to see the results of your placement tests. Now, just remember, it doesn't matter if you're in the advanced group, uh, quill group, uh, or the um, other uh, group, uh, crayon. Right, crayon. Uh, so everyone has their own path, their own learning style. Uh, some people have different, um, you know, special, we're all... <sighs> okay, look, if you have a crayon on your page, you're with Miss Shoop, and if you have a quill, you're with me. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, cool. We're get to be Cran Brothers. Ah, yep. Still got it. All right. So we're not starting our new groups until tomorrow. So today. Miss Baker, may I speak with you, please? Uh. 
right now? Yes, please, right now. It's, it's just that, I mean, it's funny, really, and I didn't want to embarrass you in front of everyone, but you seem to have put me in the wrong group. See, this is a crayon card, not a quill card. It's okay, Mrs. Baker. We all make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> uh, no, Jeff, this is not a mistake. It, you tested into the crayon group. <laughs> no, 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 no. That can't be right. You probably got my test mixed up with someone else's. This is a mix-up, right? No, Jeff, this is your name. This, this is your test right here. I, I don't understand. Oh, I thought you'd be happy. Don't you want to be with your friends? <laughs> no, I want my life to be better than theirs. Jeff, I want you to think about what you just said. According to Aristotle, active intellect can take any information and turn it into knowledge, whereas passive intellect takes it all for face value. That's right, Breen. Not according to St. Thomas Aquinas. Oh. <laughs> oh, Chelsea. Oh. I can't believe I was lucky enough to find all these delicious trees, exclaimed Tanya the taper. Then Tanya ate all the leaves and berries she could. Yum, 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 tapers love leaves. <laughs> wow. Sumo tapers love leaves. Uh, Jeff, what is this? Open it. Uh, looks like two dollars, a pack of gum, and oh, a moist towelette. It's all yours. I'm willing to negotiate a deal here. I'll retake the test as long as you make sure to no value... Mm -hmm. Everyone has their price, Jeff, but mine's a little higher than this. Well, what is it? Oh, I don't know. Find me a date with someone who's not a total creep. Deal! <laughs> Wait, Jeff, I was, I was just kidding! Oh. I'm sorry, Jeff, my hands are tied. This is a district initiative. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not leaving until you put me in your class. <laughs> what? Am I not allowed to cry? All right, basically, we're learning about history and science. We're gonna stage a battle between the Vikings and the astronauts. It's a struggle as all this time. You just gotta pick which team you're on. This class is a travesty. Yeah, it's pretty great. Hey, Jeff, you should join the astronauts. They got eraser bombs! Ah! <coughs> my parents took me on a, on a trip to Belize. Something bit my arm and it swelled up so bad, so I had to go to the hospital. But it wasn't just a bite. Stuffy laid eggs in my arm, and the doctor reached in with his cold tweezers and, 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 I pulled out a worm, and it wiggled. <laughs> also, I did not pass out. So you had a butt fly removed. Yeah. That's pretty gross. Until you've seen a bunch of internet videos like I have. Oh, Whoa, come, come on! on. Come on, that give it to me. Really no, gross! I'm so unhappy. That image is in my head, and I can't get it out. <laughs> I know, Jeff. This is what the guy scraper was built for. Come on, Jeff, you must have a million stories. You think everything's gross. No, I can't. Sure you can. Come on, that noggin of yours is like a gross computer. Well, there is one story, but it's rather disturbing. Go on. I'm not sure where to start. How about at the start? It was a crisp autumn morning with notes of cinnamon in the air. Skip ahead. I was taking a shower. The water temperature, pressure, and dispersal pattern were perfect. Then I noticed the drain. <gasps> it was backing up. I tried to evade the contaminated water, but it kept on rising and rising. There was no escape. <laughs> Then what happened? And then the gross water overflowed the tub and filled up in the house and everyone was barfing all over the place. Take your time. No, the drain started working and the water went away. So basically nothing happened? Are you not listening? I'll start again. It was a crisp autumn. Save it, I got one. Time to separate the boys from the girls. So this one night I had a dream I fell out of a boat and I was stuck in the ocean. Turns out, 
I threw up in my sleep! <laughs> and? And you're not smart enough to get it. That's my time. Good night, Aberdale. Ooh, wait, I got another one. And this one's a real doozy. So this one time I was walking through a field of uh, broccoli and worms and, and bugs. And all of a sudden I see this uh, wolf. I mean, the uh, werewolf tiger with two heads made of garbage. Yeah, two garbage heads. And he goes, I'm gonna take off my fur. And he did. And his skin was just full of like mud and gunk and just jelly and peanut butter and meat fat. No good? It's time. My whole family, one RV, driving to Florida to visit my grandparents. We stopped for lunch at Fishy Phil's House of Clam Meat, 200 miles from the nearest body of water. Big mistake. And you all got sick. <gasps> so cool. uh, oh yeah, well what do you got? Fourth of July weekend, barbecue in our neighbor's yard. They had a brand new trampoline. The sweet smell of hickory smoked ribs was in the air. The tramp was empty for the first time all day. I climbed on and started jumping. One simple flip, that's all I wanted to do. But when you tried, you broke your arm. It was so bad you could see the bone. Happened to everybody in my family. That's why my dad got rid of the trampoline. Got something better? My friend was lost on the ice planet, and he cut open his weird kangaroo thing that he used to get warm. That's a movie. One time I ordered chili, and there was a rat. Saw it on the news. There was a bumblebee. Heard it. One time a shark. Heard it. A restaurant. Heard it. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? Yeah, what are you smiling about? <gasps> Master level Sudoku puzzle book. <laughs> hey buddy, we're making point calls. Uh, you want to join what? us? Okay, um, this one's for you. Ready, uh, go. Oh, um, is your refrigerator running? What's your emergency? You called the cops? Uh oh. Hi, sorry. This is kind of embarrassing, but me and my friends were just doing some uh. Uh, no, no, everything's fine. There was a burglar, but, um, we broke his legs. Oh, no, you don't need to send an ambulance because, because, uh... Because he caught on fire and ran away, he's gone. Don't send anybody. Do you think that worked? <gasps> Mystery piñata time! Piñata? Oh, not for me, thank you. What? Why not? What are you talking about? Piñatas are awesome! I suppose it's because I've never tried it. Well, Jeff, my friend, today's the day you become a man. A piñata man! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta hit the piñata. Under the blindfold, eyes won't peep. Do it right, tie it tight, don't cheat. Now spin around, head pin to the ground by the bat, that's the action. Making a sound like, whoa, 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 get dizzy. Stand back, lift bat, get busy. With a little flick of the wrist, give it a swish, don't miss. Try to hit it into little bits and pieces to release the sweetest candy. Or otherwise, some other surprise, it can be anything the piñata master fancies. A risky mystery, but take the chance, please. Hit the piñata, hit the piñata, sa, sa, wing bata. Hit the piñata, yeah, yeah. You gotta hit the piñata Hit the thing harder Hit the piñata Made out of paper, break the shape of a donkey You won't be seeing it later Cause once you attack it, make the bat smack it Maybe you'll smash it into smithereens So streams of sweet treats careen to the carpet The tricky task is to swing a stick in the darkness But try your hardest and tense your back Until you strike the target and make it crack Hit the piñata, hit the piñata sa sa wing bata. hit the piñata Yeah, yeah, yeah You guys are gonna crack up when you see what's inside this thing. Oh, right, Jeff, you're dizzy enough. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute. 
What's that sound? Could it be? Do you want some honey in your tea, Sumo? You're gonna be very surprised by my mystery pinata. Hold on, I gotta change out of my bee suit. <laughs> no! Hi! No! And the mystery is... Oh man, that does look like fun. Nobody move! Uh, we got a call about a robbery, fiery homicide. All right, Rough Riders Elementary, let's hear a big, enthusiastic cluck cluck hooray! I'm proud to say that our merger so far has been a rousing success. Something's off here. Like, why did he say Rough Riders Elementary instead of Aberdale Elementary? Nonsense, Clarence. You're starting to sound like you don't believe in Team Rough Riders. You've always loved Rough Riders. Yeah, you're right. I'm probably just being paranoid. Cluck, cluck, hooray! Cluck, cluck, hooray! Welcome to Rough Riders. Have a clucktacular day. Hey, Jeff, guess what I dreamed last night? I dreamt that you and me was brothers, and Sumo, you were there too, but your head was on a dog's body, and when... Wait, y'all aren't Jeff and Sumo. Do you even go here? <laughs> hey, Jeff, how come you're not sitting down? Jeff, do you know where Sumo is? I haven't seen him all day. Jeff? Well, excuse me. <laughs> Jeff, wait, Jeff, wait! Don't go! Hello, you guys? Potato, doorknob, I like farts, anything. Wait a second. I have a bad feeling about this but I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> it's a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, they're serving this sauce, I'm in. Is that nutmeg? It's a sauce! It's a sauce! It's a sauce! <laughs> Cluck, cluck, buck. And now, as is tradition, I welcome you, Ryan Samowski, to the Rough Riders family. Stop! Sumo, no! We gotta get out of here, buddy. Something's terribly wrong! <laughs> Nature Kate, Keith Mack, Break Backburn, and Don Delio? You're the best! We're the best, kid! You came just in time. The Rough Riders showed up and turned out to be alien chickens that take over the school and the world and everything. Don't worry, boys. We'll take it from here. Yay, we did it! Oh no, shockwave. <laughs> and that's why Rough Riders chicken is my favorite food. The end. When we leave, if you behave.
Okay, come on, Clarence. No! <laughs> Nurse Tucker, can I have a piece of candy? What does your mother say? Whatever you want, Tinia. Here you go, Angel. <laughs> Mom, that Tinia girl got candy. Yes, she did. I don't think that she is an angel at all. Neither are you. Mm, gotta use a different technique. Slander isn't getting me anywhere. Mm. Oh, I'll strike a bargain. Yes, mothers love bargains. Oh, mother, what if I were to have one piece now and then one later when we leave? No. Say, mom, what if I were to trade you one potted plant for one? No. Mom, did you know no. that? Clarence, you have to learn to entertain yourself while you're waiting for something. Can you do that? No. What? Oh, uh, I, uh, probably. Then do it. Where's the shot? What's the point of this thing? This is too easy. I need a real challenge. Oh, Clarence. Oh, my sweet boy. <sighs> Doing good. Oh, go check the map. Oh, yeah. Come on, Clarence. You're getting too heavy for this. <laughs> Are we gonna be here forever? It's only been five minutes. Really? Really. Come on, back to the seat. <laughs> Peppermints, gumdrops, jawbreakers, wait, wait. Quietly. Without moving. But ma If I hear one more word out of you, you are not getting any candy, all right? You can breathe, Clarence. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, no noise, no moving. I can do that. Just need to sit here and think. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. I can think, can't I? No, I can't. It's too hard. I, I gotta say something. I gotta do something. Help! Anybody help? Stuart! Stuart! Stuart, do something. No, no, look at me! Wait, wait, what's going on here? My brain, it's like a cave. Hello! Wow, I'm in a creepy cave inside my head. That's so cool. Wait a second, I'll just turn my cave into a beach. Or, or outer space. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh man, I just got a great idea. <laughs> oh, hello, giant gummy friend. May I? Are you lost, gummy worm? Find your way into my mouth. Look. Or her this chocolate? I know we just met Candy Brain, but I think I love you. Is that okay? I hope it's okay. It's okay by me. Oh. Ugh, water. <gasps> wow, are you made of all ice cream? I am the ice cream. Wait a second, I think I remember you. When I was six, you changed my life. May I? Not now. I'm here to help you pass the time in here so you can get candy out there. Why don't we just ask someone? Because I know where we are. So why are we walking down this hallway for the third time? Because it's my favorite hallway. I'm asking for help. Waste of time. Excuse me. Excuse. Excuse me. Stop! Well, what is it? Hurry up. I'm in the middle of something. I, uh, was looking for my friend, Belson. Belson who? We got a lot of Belsons. Belson. Arturo Belson. Nelson. Belson. Can you imagine having that name? You got a last name? Uh, N Knowles. Belson Knowles. Oh, here he is. I see you. Take the elevator to four, go right, left, down the steps, through the quad, left, left, and uh, you're there. Oh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Wait, you forgot the... <laughs> Another perfect day in paradise, Bodie. I may even smile. Hey, Belson! I'm gonna try out my blowhole now. 
Morning, Belson. Hold on, the water pillow is leaking all over the place. Who let you in here again? Oh, I got my tricks. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. I think he said floor 10. <laughs> then we get off and take a left. <laughs> What was that? Oh, elevator stuck. <laughs> Great party. Uh, yeah. Isn't this party a blast? <laughs> Everybody's here. Hey, Jeff. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm, uh, I'm afraid of dirt. Looking sharp, Sumo. Uh, you ain't so bad yourself. So, Chelsea, is that, uh, new hair? Oh, thank you, I just grew it. Uh, I wish I had hair. <laughs> That's okay, Sumo. At least you're not a clumsy bag of bones like Belson here. I'm not clumsy. Your skylight was broken. Skylight? What do you mean, skylight? Belson, is there something you're not telling me? Um, isn't this supposed to be a party? Yes, it is. Party! Woohoo! 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 Party! <laughs> Sumo, get us out of here. Oh, all right, here's the problem. <laughs> oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's sing one more song. Uh... Shut up! Stop it! Be quiet! Just be quiet! I didn't get hit by a car. I was pranking you. It was me, Dustin, and Nathan. I was going to change your TV channels through the skylight. I had to buy a remote on clickers.wiz because your TV is so old. And now back to hearts and hydrants, extinguishing the flames of love. But your loser skylight broke and made me slide off your loser roof! What? No! Oh! <laughs> you were so young! I don't get it. How is that a prank? Because I was gonna change the channel and you were gonna miss the end of your show. And that's what you consider a prank? Yeah, an awesome prank. Hmm. So if I take your spoon, is that a prank? No, that's not a prank. Can water be a prank? Uh, well, sure, I guess. Ah, ah, what are you doing? Pranking you! And then they said that I could have my own room, but I said, no, thank you. I got it! I was fixing up a railing at that Belson lady's place again, and there's this flower painting upstairs. $20,000. Can you believe that? Yeah, I had a job, you know, last, last year, and then... Uh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> Rich people will pay anything for art. Doesn't even have to be good. Heck, I can make a bunch of these and sell them for a million bucks. Wow, that's beautiful. That's like a trash angel. Or a sunset made of garbage. Whoa, that's a great idea, man. Let's do it. Nah, I was just messing around. No, no, come on. We we rent a space, open a sculpture shop, and it's on. You think? Yeah, you just gotta believe, man. Like this soda. Chad sour cream and onion soda. I had an idea, I believed, and now it's here, okay? I mean, that's, you know, that's a secret to all the Chad products from Chad Industries. Chad sour cream and onion ice cream. Chad sour cream and onion keyboard cleaner. Chad sour cream and onion bug repellent. Yep. I mean, it's only a matter of time before Chad is a household name. <sighs> so, how about it? Yeah. Yeah, we could do it. And we'll be rich. Rich! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Woo! Just, take it easy, man. <laughs> What do you guys think? Million dollar idea, right? If you raise some cash, you can invest and get in on the ground floor. Oh. We're gonna be rolling in it. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay, sure, man. Rolling in it.
We have a chance to invest in our dads. Can't miss business. But as the saying goes, you gotta make money to spend money. So here's how we gotta do it. As you can see, plan A is to make money. As this graph shows, the plan will work if it works. As you can see, if plan A fails, we'll get another better plan. Or plan B. This chart shows pies are delicious. If plan B fails, we walk away, no questions asked. Any questions? Yeah. Why don't we just sell that laser pointer? Oh, because this is Jeff's laser pointer. Who would want to buy Jeff's laser pointer? Hello, madam of the house. We are wondering if you might be interested in the oper- Hey, my laser pointer! How'd you get that? Plan B, plan B. We gotta have restrooms. Right, um, journals or trough? Ooh, and we should have a fire door. Oh, uh, oh, like a safety door. In case there's a fire? No, a door made of fire. A fire door! But uh, how would people get inside? Oh, oh, I'm stupid, you're right. That's, that's a terrible idea, that's terrible! Don't just scratch that ass. No, 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 no. It, it can work, it can totally work. Pardon me, where is the toilet? We are singing to you, senor. Now give us two five to twenty dollars. All right. Plan B. I guess B stands for bust. Maybe I'm not like Chad or Sumo's dad. Maybe I'm not supposed to be a business guy. Maybe I'm just supposed to get paid for doing nothing, like a statue or a senator. <sighs> Maybe I should just go to sleep to the sweet, sweet cricket lullaby. Or maybe my new name is Clarence Moneybags Kaching to the Clarence Mobile. Hello. Hey, hot dog. Hi, Clarence. Howdy, Flatfoot. Uh, hi, Clarence. Morning, milk delivery guy. How do you do, Clarence? Hi, uh, Amy Susker. Extra, extra. What's the news of the world, old chap? I don't know. Why don't you read it and find out? Free goldfish, my good sir. Hold on there, Squirt. I could give you the goldfish right now, no questions asked. Deal! Whoa there. I could give you the goldfish. Deal! Now, let me finish. I could give it to you. Say, hey, what's the big idea? But you don't have any of the accessories you need. We carry reasonably priced filtration systems, aquarium gravel, pirate ships, skeletons, fish food, and vitamins. Oh, no thanks. I have my own tank which filling up at home. <laughs> Bye, thank you. <laughs> Give away free fish. This is the worst idea you've ever had. Oh, boy.
Maestro, if you please. Sometimes my life can be a bit on edge when things don't go my way. Where's that music coming from? And all I want to do is hide behind life's hedge or lie down to decay. But all in all, when I feel small and want to run away, I just think of these key words that brighten up my day. At least I'm not as uptight as you, Jeff. At least I'm not uptight and don't give up a fight whether playing with my toys or acting like a chef. Okay, little rude. At least I'm not as uptight as you. At least I don't fix my hair with glue. That was one time. Take it away, Sumo. Sumo, where'd you come from? You hear something? I don't think so. Did you? At least I'm not upsized. At least I'm not upsized. At least I'm not upsized like Jeff. Blah, blah, blah. I like soup. Blah, blah, blah. Let's make food. Hello, Jeff. Is anyone home? Anyway, I'm just saying to loosen up, okay? Let's just make that food because the contest starts in like an hour. Read that book. Not today, we're gonna make it up. Open that doll, hold that ball, hold these things and hit the frog. Look at what you got. Choose the best and make a cut. Yum yum. We're having lots of fun. Don't use that thing, let me use my tongue. Looking good. Punch that chicken. Punch that chicken. Now punch that chicken. Keep punching that chicken. Punch that chicken. Roll that dough. Now it's time to get stuck with the mixing spoon. Make some room. You gotta use your feet in this cookery school. Keep stepping, we're almost there. Oh, yeah. yeah! There, a perfect saffron tagliatelle with oak moss vapor. Wow, I actually did it. Is that all do it? Now go change while I throw it into the microwave and we can head to the cook-off. Cook-off, cook-off, cook-off. Thanks for being there for Jeff. I knew you'd be the right person to get him to calm down. All in a day's work, me madams. Guess I really helped you break a few eggs, huh? Jeff! <gasps> Ladies, looks like we got ourselves a fugitive. And the clock is ticking. All right, people, listen up. I want you to search every tree house, courthouse, hot house, mouse house, haunted house, other kind of house. I want you to leave no stone unturned. Leave no pocket unprotected. Leave no ding-dong undong-dinged. It's okay, Clarence. I think I see him right over there. Uh, no, 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 no! What are you doing? Say cheese. I don't know. I'm not sure it's ready. All right, let's see who you're up against. Oh, no. There they are. They'll see me. What? Those are just a bunch of nice old ladies. What the heck are you scared about? No, no, no. That's Gazpacho Gale. And to her right, Betty the Boiler Whip Sniff. She's won the past two years. And don't even get me started on any alliteration joke Jones. She's the toughest one of them all. Jeff, you weirdo. Those look like nice old, normal old, regular old ladies. I guess you're right. Wow. I've never made it this far. Hey, you're not quitting now. Give me this. Free donkey rides for anyone over 69 years old. <laughs> oh, yes, I would love it. Oops. 